As humans, we're naturally driven by the search for better. But when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search at all. Don't search. Match. With Indeed, when I was looking to hire someone, it was so slow and overwhelming. I wish I had used Indeed. If you need to hire, you need Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform, with over 350 million global monthly visitors according to Indeed data, and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. Ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging so you can connect with candidates faster. And Indeed doesn't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at Indeed.com slash podcast. That's Indeed.com slash podcast. Terms and conditions apply. Played on a field or ice or course Bear Rivers is the place Over under money line Same game parlays, it's all fine We'll put a smile on your face Bet Rivers Sportsbook is your home for chance Where you can bet on the sports you love Bet Rivers Sportsbook, download the app Take a chance Presented by Rivers Casino Portsmouth Must be 21 plus, available in Virginia only Void where prohibited, terms and conditions apply Gambling problem? Call 1-888-532-3500 And now for our story The living room of Aunt Mary's farmhouse this evening was littered with papers and seed catalogs scattered about Lefty's easy chair. In its midst, Lefty looking happy and industrious. He'd borrowed the breadboard from the kitchen and had neatly thumbtacked to it a sheet of paper on which he was busily sketching. As he worked, he could hear the voice of Peggy Douglas, who was talking to her friend, Jane Plummer, on the telephone. Listening, Lefty thought affectionately of this young girl he knew to be his daughter. Wondered, as he had repeatedly whether he'd been right to keep from her the knowledge that he was her father. Would he have been able to help her more, guard her from unhappiness, if she'd known he was actually her father? He wasn't sure. And now, after so long, he hesitated to tell her the truth. The main thing he wanted was her happiness. He wanted to see her happily married with a home of her own. Eventually, children. Yet, every time it looked as if this might come about, something had gone wrong. His thoughts were interrupted by the entrance of the young girl herself. She came up to him and leaned over the back of his chair. What's that you're drawing, Lefty? Looks like a a map showing where to find the hidden treasure. You mean to say you don't recognize it? Should I? Why, sure. This is the layout of the farm. See? Uh, This square here is the house. There's the barn. Here's that apple tree in front. Why, so it is. Uh, What's it for? Well, the idea is I'm figuring out what to plant this spring around the house. Flowers and stuff. I thought if I planned it out scientifically on paper, I could get just the effect I want. You always have a lovely garden, Lefty. Remember how impressed people were last year? I felt as if we were living in a state park for a while, but with all the sightseers coming out from town. (laughs) That's nothing to what I'm going to have this year. (laughs) You know, it's a funny thing about people with a gardening bug. Next year's garden's always going to be the best ever. (laughs) Oh, I'll never forget your delphinium last year. They were breathtaking. That mass of blues and purples, almost as pretty as David Bowman. What do you mean, almost? Well, you know, Lefty, that's David's specialty. Specialty, my eye. I could write a book about what David Bowman doesn't know about delphinium. Now, Lefty, don't get all excited. I only meant that... You know, after all, David did win first prize in the flower show. <laughs> Probably bribed the judges. <laughs> what a thing to say, Lefty. You ought to be ashamed. Well, all I know is if I couldn't raise better delphinium than David Bowman, I'd give up gardening. Oh, my goodness. If you feel that way, why don't you enter the show yourself? Remember how Aunt Mary and I begged you to last year? Me enter a flower show like some old fuddy-duddy? Pink tea and ladies in picture hats. <laughs> Speeches and all such Tommy rot? Not on your life. I'm a gardener, not a society dude. All right, all right. But it uh, would be one way to prove your your prowess. I don't have to prove anything. Just you wait and see the results. I will. And, um, Lefty, I'll tell you a little secret. I'm uh, really betting on you anyway. That's my girl. (laughs) house feels sort of empty with Lisa gone, doesn't it? 
I was getting to be awfully fond of her. Yeah, she's a sweet little kid. You know, she's a lot of fun when she isn't feeling so low, worrying about things. I'll bet she is. I had her laughing like anything one night, telling you about the scrapes Randy and I got into when we were kids. I wouldn't be surprised if that isn't one of her troubles. She missed out on a lot of fun when she was a youngster. Yeah, she's had a strange life. Well, let's hope she manages to snap out of it now, get back on her feet. Mm. In a way, though, I, I think she hated to leave here. She told me it was the first time in her life she'd ever felt completely at home. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Well, maybe Aunt Mary's right about her getting started with her career again. But you know how I feel about Dell Shipley. What good that woman can do is beyond me. However, it remains to be seen. Didn't you say you were going over to Tom Gardner tonight? Yeah. Tom's driving over to Stanton in the morning. I want him to pick up a bale of chicken wire for me. Uh, out of it at Swanson's. I guess I'd better be on my way at that. Oh, I'll go. Hello, Peggy. Oh, come in, Bill. Hey. Nice to see you. Uh, is Aunt Mary home? No, Aunt Mary went into a lecture at the school. But Lefty's here. He and I were just talking. Lefty, here's Bill. Good evening, Lefty. Hello. <laughs> You're looking mighty industrious there. I managed to keep out of mischief. I guess Peggy told you Aunt Mary's not here. Uh, yeah, I was sorry to hear it. I uh, had something I wanted to tell her. Well, she probably won't be back until late. Those meetings go on and on. Maybe you better come back tomorrow. Oh, I don't think it'll be very late, Lefty. Aunt Mary said the speeches were going to be limited to ten minutes. You might as well wait, Bill. That is, if you have the time. <laughs> Tonight time is what I have the most of. <laughs> on my way over here, I was even thinking I ought to take up a hobby or something. <laughs> Oh, that's a good idea. Look at Lefty. He keeps busy with that flower garden that he has even in the winter. I doubt if gardening's in Bill's line. <laughs> uh, how's your job going, Bill? I saw David Bowman, and he said you were awfully busy. Uh, yeah, we have been. I enjoy it, though. Oh, that's good. It's nice if you're interested in what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, I've been meeting some swell people, too. People I didn't even know lived in this locality. Mm. It's nice to feel you can help him get rolling. Must be. By the way, Lefty, hadn't you better get started? It's almost nine. Oh, I'm in no rush. Oh. Bill, I was thinking I'd make a pot of chocolate. Would you like some? Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, Lefty, what about you? No, thank you. Why don't you come out and give me a hand, Bill? Okay. Uh, see you later, Lefty. Take your time. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting to be quite a cook since I've been batching it. I can whip up practically anything that comes out of a can. Oh, fine. <laughs> You'll have to come out and make dinner some night so we can try you out. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, you mean Lefty? Yeah, he certainly gives me the old freeze every time I come out. I know. It's a shame he feels that way. It's just that he's so awfully fond of me. He's apt to be unreasonable sometimes. Yeah. Oh, well, it isn't that I blame him for wanting to protect you, Peggy, but... Oh, gosh, you and Aunt Mary have been so wonderful, and... Well, Lefty always makes me feel like a first-class heel. Oh, don't worry about it, Bill. He'll probably get over it eventually. <laughs> I don't know. Well, what can I do? Oh, you just sit down and talk to me. This will only take a few minutes. Okay. I'm sorry Randy isn't here tonight. He's been wanting to meet you. <laughs> well, if he's anything like Lefty, he'll probably give me a punch in the nose when he does. Oh, no. <laughs> Randy understands how things are. Although he does have a sort of big brotherly attitude toward me from when we were kids. The way that boy used to boss me around just because he was older. <laughs> and I suppose you never got back at him either. Oh, I managed to protect myself pretty well. well I bet you did at that. <laughs> Gosh, it's nice to see you, Peggy. Seems like years. You're looking wonderful. Well, I've been feeling awfully well lately. Sort of contented in a way. I guess it's because I made up my mind what I wanted. You did? Uh... Do you mind telling me what it is? Oh, it's very simple. I mean, I realized that I wanted to stay here on the farm, that I didn't belong in the city. This girl who was staying here, Lisa, was a dancer. The more I heard about that sort of life, the happier I was not to be in it. It may be exciting and all that. Yeah, I know what you mean, Peggy, because I went through more or less the same thing when I decided to take this job with David Bowman. 
I'm awfully glad I did now. I'm sorry Aunt Mary isn't here. Well, I'm sort of glad she isn't, Peggy. Now I can tell you first. Tell me what? Has something new happened? Yeah. Uh, Kit came to see me last night. She told me something very surprising. Yes? Peggy. Kit's going to give me a divorce. Bill wanted to see Peggy's reaction to his news, but at the last minute, he didn't dare look at her. Was almost afraid to know what her expression might reveal. And so he hadn't seen Peggy turn away, too, for the same reason. It was something neither of them had really expected to happen. Bill free and Peggy free, too, since Nicholas Dorn understood the situation so well. But would Bill actually be free, Peggy asked herself. There was still the child. Was her feeling for Bill strong enough to surmount such an obstacle? She didn't know. Lucky Land Casino, asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car, before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on ChumbaCasino.com. I looked over at the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino-style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's ChumbaCasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. VGW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.